everyone, Stacy Burke here, and my husband just brought in the mail. And what did he bring? Ipsy time! Ipsy time! Not tipsy yet, though. And today is June 14th. <laughs> so it's right in the middle of the month. So let me open this up. And I'm going to say this in case you don't know, Ipsy, it's a subscription service. Uh, Ipsy.com, I believe, I-P-S-Y. Uh, it takes like about $11 out of your checking account once a month. And then they send you little samples in the mail of cool, um, up-to-date makeup products. And you build a profile and they go off of that. Which I think I have to redo my profile because lately I've been getting a lot of red lipstick. And you know I don't really like that. However, I've been addicted to the to NYX um, new lipsticks. I've been getting all the weird colors, all those blue and black colors and stuff. All right. So, here's the bag. They always send you, like, a little makeup bag. And I collect them all. Most of them are really cool. This is really cool. It looks like it's a bunch of graffiti. It's canvas. It's soft. Sometimes I usually like the vinyl ones better, but I collect them. They're really great to put things in your purse, to itemize everything in your purse. But it says Ipsy all over, Ipsy, Ipsy, Ipsy. So I think I'm going to keep this bag. This is really cool. Um, let's see. First thing I'm going to get, like I'm just opening it up. Because I know I hate when they do unboxings and they have it down here and they show you. Like, if you want to see them, pull it out, right? Okay. Cards Against Beauty Boredom. Now, I don't know what this is yet. It says Rebel Rebel Cards Against Beauty Boredom. And this is the back of it. Oh, it's a game. It's like Cards Against Humanity, right? Which I never played. But... Yeah, it looks like it's a game. There's the back of it. And these are the cards. And, uh, okay. A little, these are like, it's playing cards. Runs a little playing cards. Alright. Although, I don't think so. I think it's more like a recipe box. And it tells you, uh, what each thing. Yeah, it's more like a recipe box than a game. It, takes, it shows like this, and then it tells you about what it does and what you can do with it. Okay, I have a feeling maybe this is the stuff that's going to be in the bag. I have a feeling this is going to be the stuff that's in the bag. So it's kind of like a, kind of like a, like an ingredient or recipe box. <laughs> Am I making sense? I feel like I'm going in slow motion today or something. I don't know why. I don't know why. And yes, I'm right. There, it's a preview of what's in the bag. Okay, first of all, it's an illuminating fiber mask. Ooh, I might try this tonight. This is like uh, a pomegranate mask. Vitamin E for all skin types. Oh, very cool. Vitamin E, that, that would be to moisturize. This is a cucumber. This is vitamin E as well. This is a soothing mask as well. This is illuminating to make you glow. This is to soothe you, I guess, if you have like a um, sense of skin or something. Oh, these are really cool. I love these. Ooh, I might sleep with one tonight. Yeah, sometimes I just put it on my face and then I go to bed. And this is Urban Decay Lounge <coughs> Eyeshadow. Excuse me. <coughs> my... Mouth try. This is cool. This is not like a full on eyeshadow. It's just like a little um, sample. Yeah, it's like a tiny little sample. It looks like a stone gray, almost like a charcoal type of gray. That's kind of cool. Yeah, these are very much like samples. Usually the samples are a little bit bigger than this, but it's okay. Show me your cheeks. So this must be the blush. Yep. That's a cool blush. It's kind of like a peachy type of rose that will go with every every skin tone. This might work with me better in um, not during the summer. Because when I get really dark, it's really hard to find blush that shows up. 
I have to really get like an orangey peach to show up on me. Oh, and here's another brush. Oh, this brush is cool. It's double-ended, like a Q-tip. It's a blue, from, and it's made by, I can't tell, Royal something. I don't know. Now, this makes sense. These brushes make sense, although how do you put them in your container? Because it might, I guess you put this one down. This is cool. I might actually use this. I have a lot of brushes, but this this looks really cool. I'd have to read up what this is actually for, but it doesn't really matter, right? You don't have to actually use the brush exactly what it's meant for, right? As long as it does its job. But that's cool. I might use this. Yeah, where, what does this brush do? See, now this makes sense. Artsy side. It's for uh, eye brush. It's just for eyes. Just for the eyes. All right. Cool. I like this little. I like this where they tell you what each item is and what it's for. Although most of it's self-explanatory, isn't it? Okay. The next one is by ColourPop, which I've been hearing a lot about, mainly from Graveyard Girl. Uh, cream gel liner. Now, Graveyard Girl, I saw a video where she was using a purple. She thought it was lip liner, but it was really eyeliner. So I bet it was just kind of like this. It was, she was using a purple. Now, I just bought uh, the NYX uh, Blue lip, uh, Velvet Lipstick. So who knows? Maybe I'll use this as a lip liner as well. Although eyeliner is usually much more than lip liners. But it looks like it's teal. It looks like it would be teal, but then now I'm thinking maybe black. Oh, it's black. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, it, it's supposed to, it's called, it's, it looks like I think I was supposed to get blue. But that's okay. Black, I, as you can tell, it's my go-to wing liner. So that will, I will definitely use this. I will definitely, because I use it, this is my everyday makeup. Lots of eyeliner. I wing out the tips. And I've been trying different lipsticks. This is like a normal lipstick. I don't even know what this is. This is from a... Um, this lipstick is uh, from from Ipsy. It's one of those... Um, is there something else in there? No. It was one of these sample things. So I forget the color of it. But, um, but I've been wearing the purples and the blues and everything. But I'm kind of normal today. But I'll definitely use this. Okay. You know, sometimes my Ipsy bags... You know, I usually give some away, but I could honestly think I'm going to use everything in this bag. This for sure. This is every day. These cheeks, I'll try to use it. This will be perfect for traveling, or I could put this in my purse for if you want blush, because sometimes it's hard to find a small blush to put in your in your um, purse. This is perfect for the purse. Perfect. So this I'll probably use. This is also perfect for the purse if I got rid of the packaging because sometimes uh, during nighttime, like right now, this is for day, but if I was going out at night, what I usually do is I just smudge a little black in the liner and make it more pronounced. And this would be perfect to put in your purse as well for touch-up because it's a tiny little thing. And, oh, I forgot to put the liner back in the box. Back in the box. And these for sure I'll use. Oh my god, I'm kind of excited. Because I was just thinking, I have the Aluma mask. You know that big light-up mask, those LED light? I forgot. I have like probably about um, 15 more usage out of that. So I was like, oh man, maybe tonight I'll do that. But my skin's a little dry. So maybe I'll do the cucumber. Or maybe I should wait for when I get a sunburn. Because that's going to always happen. Yes, I still go in the sun. Yes, I still do the tanning bed. I'm bad. I know. But maybe I'll wait till I get like a sunburn for this. So maybe I'll do this one. I don't know. I don't know. I'll do one of these this week for sure. Because I love these things. Especially on Sunday. On Sundays I have no makeup Sunday. I wear makeup Monday through Friday for work and stuff. When it gets really hot for summer, I don't really wear that much makeup. But I'll wear mascara and maybe a little bit of powder. And lip balm, of course. Um... And then Saturday, if I go out, of course, I wear makeup. But Sunday is my no makeup Sunday where I literally go out with no makeup. And 
especially if you're going to go out without any makeup, you need to exfoliate and moisturize, and it's really good to put on a mask before you go out without wearing makeup because your, your skin does not need to look thirsty. And you know what I mean. You don't want going out with thirsty skin. That is just, uh, you want to get all the dead skin layers out. You want to have like a rosy glow. So yeah, this was a fun bag. I kind of like this bag. Everything in here I will use. I will use, definitely use. Well, thank you, Ipsy. Thank you so much. Oh, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm running, wearing a Run LBC shirt. <sighs> kind of like a Run DMC, but Run LBC. And I really like this bag, this graffiti Ipsy bag. So, what did you get in your Ipsy bag? I know everyone gets different stuff in their Ipsy bag. Not everyone gets the same thing. Mine was pretty good this time. So, uh, stay tuned for next month. I can't wait. All right? Well, I hope all my Stace Cadets and my Brickettes are having a groovy day. Until next time, peace.